Barakallah Fik. We have very little time left and 82 questions on the SMS system. 83 now. So <laughs> I will take one question from here. Uh, they ask, a sister is asking about clans. Uh, if your father, her father doesn't accept for her this religious brother that is a very much of a good brother practicing the deen, but because of uh, he is not from the same clan or same country or something like that, is she allowed to uh, appoint someone else to be her wali? Or what should she do in that situation? Again, to all the parents, I would like to remind them, Islam forbid yeah, racism. Race is an identity, but not for you to hold on. Islam believes in familyhood. Allah said, He created all of us from one male and one female, Adam and Eve, and make us into nations and tribes so that we can complement each other. There's a beauty of Islam. Islam will make us link with each other without any racial border. Whoever think that my, I am a Pakistani, I only allow a Pakistani man to marry my daughter, then I would say to them, please go back to Pakistan. Don't stay here. If everything Pakistani, Pakistan, then go back to Pakistan. Why you come here? You are here because you know that you have the right to mix around with other people. The worst thing is going to happen is even there is a Pakistani brother here, but he is not open for that. He wants a Pakistani man for the daughter from Pakistan. Not the Pakistani in Norway. That's why I say, go back to Pakistan. Then, inshallah, you only meet the Pakistani in Pakistan. <laughs> if you only want an Indian to marry your daughter, then you should decide to make a hijrah back to India. Be practical. Islam do not allow us to do that anymore. If you are so stubborn, to the wali. Islamically, your daughter have right upon herself. If she have find a good brother, she's sure that he is a good brother. And you know also he's a good brother, but because of the clan or the tribe or the race, you stop them, your daughter have right to free herself from you. She have right. Because at the end of the day, you know, a wali cannot force the daughter to marry any guy that the wali like, but she dislike. Your father, sisters, your father have no right to force you to marry any guy. But you must speak up. If you don't speak out, that means you agree. You must speak out loud and clear. Father, I am not ready. To make it more easier. Yeah? You don't hurt the feeling of the guy. I am not ready. In the time of the prophet, you have this case. One companion, he's a good sahaba. His name is Aswat. Means Mr. Black. He is a rich man when he was in Mecca. And even he have the money with him, the woman just don't like him because of his look. He's an ugly guy. Ugly black guy. So no woman want to be his wife. He have no choice. He migrate to Medina. He become one of the good companions of the Prophet Wasallam. Then one day the Prophet asked him, are you married? He said, no, not yet. Mary is my sunnah. Get married. You have, to, you have done all the sunnah that I want you to do. Now one important sunnah you abandon. Please get married. He said, who want to get married with me? The Prophet sent him to a companion, another companion. So he went because the Prophet said, go and ask for the daughter of this guy. So he went, he gave salam to this guy. This guy 
accept his salam and he said the prophet convey your, my, your, his salam to you immediately the guy opened up welcome the prophet convey his salam to me yes the prophet sent me the prophet sent you to me wow he was so happy and then the daughter came and served some food and he saw the daughter and this daughter is Miss Medina beautiful girl when he looked at this beautiful girl immediately he know no way man if this woman is ugly and a black lady maybe it, it fixed me you know but she's a beautiful girl immediately he know there's no way now this girl is going to get married with me so he asked yes anything yeah the prophet came salam to you and what is any other message yes the prophet called me to come and ask for your daughter immediately the father's look change huh? he look at this guy <laughs> tongue tight don't know what to say and she, she he knows he knows you don't have to say anything <laughs> he said okay I just got to convey what the prophet want me to convey so he said no but he is smart he said I have to ask my daughter and his daughter said it's up to you my father now the father have another problem. Now the daughter say, up to you. <laughs> so the father just said, my friend, send my good salam to the prophet again. Tell him that my daughter is not prepared to get married yet. So he left. Then after some time, the prophet sent him again, second round. And now the prophet said, call your daughter to get ready to get married now. Last time he said he's not ready. Call him to get call, call her to get ready now. And then the father just cannot do anything. Ask the, the daughter again. The daughter said, Yeah, Abati, oh my father. This man was chosen by the prophet to me. The prophet chose this man for me. How can we ignore it? I accept. Alhamdulillah. The end of the story to make it short. When everything was agreed, on his way with all the dowry to get married with this woman, there was an immediate urgent call in the battlefield for jihad. He left. And he was shahid in the battlefield. All the thing has been sent, waiting for him to come back from the battlefield and get married. And he was killed in the battlefield. Shaheed. Allah. Now this woman was waiting. He got the news that the guy that's going to be the husband was killed in the battlefield. She only asked one thing from the Prophet. Allow me to participate in the next ghazwa, The next battle. The Prophet allowed. And she was killed. So the hero and the heroine was killed. So it end the story, alhamdulillah. When there is a movie, the hero and heroine is dead, no more. Yeah. Sorry, it end there. So Islamically, the woman have right by herself. If the, hus the father do not want to give any consent until the end, then the woman have right to free herself because it is her decision at the end of the day to marry whom she like. But before you reach that level, you must give some respect to your father first. And may Allah bless you, sis, inshallah. Now.